Hello friends, welcome to AI Medical School. So, in this video, we are going to talk about normal sea line. Sodium chloride is common table salt, soluble in water, and found widely distributed over the earth and in seawater. Sodium chloride is a necessary constituent of the body and consequently of the diet. Sodium chloride is used to replace lost fluids of the body. Its hyperosmolar solution is used as an emetic in case of poisoning as a first aid treatment. Sodium chloride is used to reduce swelling of the cornea in certain eye conditions. Sodium chloride is used orally to prevent heat cramps due to the depletion of it, also used in Addison's disease. Indications are, sodium chloride is primarily indicated in conditions like dehydration, electrolyte disorder, hyponatremia, leg cramps, sodium depletion, and can also be given in adjunctive therapy as an alternative drug of choice in diabetic ketosidosis and poisoning. Contraindications are, sodium chloride is contraindicated in conditions like hypertension, ischemic heart disease, liver cirrhosis, nephrotic syndrome, congestive heart failure. Side effects are, the signs and symptoms that are produced after the acute overdosage of sodium chloride include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, hemorrhage, disseminated intravascular coagulopathy. The symptomatic adverse reactions produced by sodium chloride are more or less tolerable, and if they become severe, they can be treated symptomatically, these include thrombophlebitis, hypernatremia, and fluid overload. Warnings are, sodium chloride should be used with caution in the presence of Swiss francs, congestive heart failure, circulatory insufficiency, kidney dysfunction, hypertension, peripheral edema or hypoproteinemia. When sodium supplements are administered by mouth, adequate water intake should be maintained. Sustained release tablets should not be administered to patients with gastrointestinal disorders because of the risk of obstruction. High risk groups are, drugs should not be given to pregnant mothers and patients suffering from kidney dysfunction. If prescribing authority justifies the benefits of the drug against the possible damages he or she should reevaluate them and consult the reference material and previous studies. Now dosage, the adult dosage, dose, 0.9% or 2 to 3 liter. Root, IV. 500 to 1000 milliliters, as required. And may be given over 2 to 3 hours. Thereafter infusion can usually be at a slower rate. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked the video, so subscribe to the channel and keep supporting us.